I'm General Janet Wolfenbarger, the commander of Air Force Material Command, stationed here at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. I have the uh, responsibility to run one of our major commands in the United States Air Force. I have about 83,000 people. As one of the 13 four-stars in the United States Air Force, I have responsibilities to work Air Force level issues uh, with the other senior leaders. I decided to join largely because my father was an Air Force officer. He served as a pilot for most of his career. My father came home from work one day and informed me that Congress had just passed a law that opened up the service academies to women. I decided to see, one, if I could get in, and two, if I were to get in, how well I could do. Here's the way my father described that to me. He said that they're going to strip you of all of your rights and hand them back to you one at a time. When I arrived at the academy my very first day there, I was on a bus. That bus drove us to the base of what was then called the Bring Me Men ramp. You do have to appreciate the irony being in the first class of women and, and having those words be the first that you see as you arrive. I have spent my career working hard and doing the very best I could at every job that was given to me with the belief that I could be treated equally, uh, that there was no discrimination, no differentiation because of my gender. And so it was important to me to be recognized for what I did, not what my gender was. I earned an engineering degree while I was at the academy, a Master of Science in Aeronautics and Astronautics from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and another master's degree from the Eisenhower School. Our Air Force has embraced the importance of STEM. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics are critical to our execution of our mission. We require great depth and great skill sets across the engineering and scientific career fields. I have had the great good fortune to have worked part of my career on our F-22 fighter program, part of my career on our B-2 stealth bomber, and part of my career on our C-17 transport aircraft. I pinned on my fourth star in a ceremony uh, in June of this year at the National Museum of the United States Air Force. I am humbled, I am honored, and I am really, really excited. I can honestly say I could not have envisioned the opportunities that I would have had, the responsibilities that I would be put in charge of, the uh, experiences. When I first started, there were a whole series of career fields that were close to women, which are now open. We are at 99% of our career fields being open to women today. I have seen a growth in the number of women in the Air Force. When you arrive at the Air Force Academy, they generally hand you a book. It's called Contrails. This is the version that I received in 1976. I was so humbled and surprised to realize this year that I am now in the newest edition of Contrails, Graduates of Distinction. It has been just a wonderful career and I wouldn't, I wouldn't change any part of it.